Let's face it, there's nothing better than curling up on the couch or just relaxing and watching some great TV. But, unfortunately, local TV, the selection's really pretty limited. There's a couple of channels to flip through, and even when you go onto your satellite-based services, you find there's a lot of repeats and adverts. Thankfully, the world is much smarter. We now have the World Wide Web of Things, and with connectivity, we get some extra services which really make the choice infinite. That's where this comes along. I've just been sent the new Skyworth Binge TV box. And I must say, I'm extremely excited to take the set-top box out of the packaging and see what it offers. Firstly, on the surface you can see that it offers casting services. That's the likes of using your either phone or tablet and mirroring it to the big screen. You get the likes of YouTube, that's infinite media and videos being loaded every second. The likes of the Google Play Store with everything from Netflix, your streaming services, pretty much any app you can think of, and if it's not there, you can sideload the APK files and put on really whatever you can think of. Then you've got Google's Play Music services and Google's Play Movies and TV services. So that takes what was conventionally a dumb old TV set and adds infinite possibility. But enough about the beautiful packaging, the device and its remote, and what it says on the box. I think it's time to cut open these plastic seals see what comes inside, and ultimately explore Skyworth Binge TV. Alright, so this is the box itself. On the front it shows you a little bit of the device, the image of it, the remote, and ultimately the services which it supports. On the one side of the box it tells you some of the content which is within this packaging, the device, it has the remote control, it has an HDMI cable, a power adapter, and Skyworth have even included a set of batteries. On the back of the box, it speaks about Google's Assistant, which is built in and allows you to use voice for browsing through your content, the fact that it supports 4K Ultra HD TV, set up and ready to go out the box, and that it has a quad-core Cortex-A53 2GHz CPU. On the other side of the box, it tells you some of the ports which it features, the likes of HDMI, it's got Ethernet, it's got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and even USB. This really has been set up to tackle the job straight as from the set go and ultimately support all major formats. So enough about that, let's start cutting the plastic open and see what it's really all about. Now it's really neat, really nicely put together packaging. You slide off the little sleeve and you get this beautifully presented. Skyworth logo on the top of the package. When you open this, inside the box here, you get two parts, and the first thing you're greeted with is the actual device itself. And what I must say straight off the bat is, you can tell this is a very high quality, top-notch product. The build is beautiful, and everything is just really well packaged and elegant. Now firstly, the device itself. First thing I notice is, it's not only lightweight, it's compact, and it is beautiful. It's well put together. You can just see that it's something very premium. At the back, you've got your ports. It's HDMI, it's a LAN port to plug straight into your router, and it's got your power there. You've also got two USBs. At the top of the package, you get a quick start guide, which explains the remote and ultimately getting it all connected up. Inside the package, however, you get a tray, and the one first tray which comes out here has got its own parts which are used to connect the device. So I'm talking the likes of, there is a power adapter cable here. It's a power cable, and inside you're also getting this, the very elegant remote control. Let's take this out of its packaging. That's the remote control unit and there's your Google Voice Assistant button, power, as well as a simple rotary toggle to select your media source. What's really nice is the way that Skyworth have set everything up so it's ready to go straight out of the box. So let's plug this all up and I'll show you what it's like making use of it. Okay, and the first thing we greeted with as we start up is the Skyworth logo. Then you greeted with the loading sign which is Google based, as you can see very similar to the startup of the vanilla Android devices. 
Okay, so first thing to do as you get the product out of the box is to pair your remote controller. And just simple as that, the remote is connected. Now you select your language. There's a whole bunch of international languages available, but for my purpose, let's select English United Kingdom and set it up. That simply pulls up the getting started guide on the device itself, verifies the code, and straight away, just like that, you are connected. First thing you're greeted with when you start up the TV is your Google sign-in. So here it'll let you sign in either using your phone or computer or simply using your password. In order to do this it'll either retrieve the PIN using the setup at Android TV. This is in fact the easiest way. So you simply go onto something like your mobile device, you type in the setup as it's asking right now and you will otherwise enter that PIN which will then set up the device in line with what you're running. This is the first jump into what it's about. As you can see as I jump in immediately, it gives you a simple layout which is clean and functional. You can customize the channels, the selection, and you can simply talk to search. For example, search your favorite movie based on voice. Screen, you've also got the likes of all your settings. That's your sign-ins, your apps, screen savers, Pretty much all your customization, including that of your home network, accessibility, and linking up other devices through Bluetooth or other input sources. This is a quick look at the Google Play Store layout here. Very neat, very easy to use. It's Facebook, it's Spotify, Vimeo, AccuWeather. It's every imaginable media source, and it is brilliant. Even Plex, your media player. You've also got movies such as TED. You can put Cody on it to sideload the likes of a media server and whatever content services you wish for. The likes of Netflix. There really is no end to what you can have and this is why I said that the possibilities of the set-top box are infinite and why it turns a dumb old TV that you had before into something very very clever. You can select your category of movie and you got a whole load of movies available on demand. I can also use it to open other applications and it just gives you an idea of as to how simple they've made this and ultimately how powerful the system really is. From me, Jason of Technobox, this has been a look at the new Skyworth Binge TV. It is an awesome system, simply high-tech, cutting-edge, and most of all, easy to use. It ultimately changes the way in which you're going to watch TV.